I'm not a sheep fan, but oh, they're quite cute to be fair. You can see it's quite topped off with oats. This is the pad that's getting poured for the new gas tank. There he is, we Andy. Just got a wee party of cows following me this morning. There we are, we can we? What a beast. There we go, that's all already done. Coos knock you over. Ah, you bad Yes, yeah, we're stuck. Morning, Holly. Oh. Just had wee Percy number two born. Cows obviously not fussed for getting up yet. Cows are fraction twitchy, but dragged the calf round to the head of the cow because the cow wasn't bothering for getting up. And as soon as I got a sniff of the calf, it was up into action, licking away. Calves breathing well, happy. There it is, it's definitely a bull calf. Good size wee calf. Cow's just a wee bit twitchy there. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to leave them be. Keep an eye on them on the camera. Someone was asking yesterday, do we get many Nelson lorries? Well, there you go. There's a Nelson lorry in for some oats today. It's just about half full. You can see there's a wee peak on the left there. It's oats, so it'll really fill out the trailer. Not very dense, so a lot of volume. There you go. Welcome to the zoo. Flipping sheep. These are the two that are in lambs, so we're just shifting them to a different separate pen. They're not really going the right direction. Hey, you bandit. Stuck behind another farmer. Disaster. Need a new tire on here. This was the other side of the wheelbarrow. We just got the other side fixed. And then this one blew up, so. Right, drop that tire off. I need to go and pick up a hydraulic pipe from AP Bearings, so we're heading there next. Here we go, that's the old one, that's the new one, there's one end, there's the other end, there's all the flipping bits that you have to get for it, anyway, done. That's for one of the old green trailers, hydraulic pipe burst on it to the back door, so couldn't open the back door. Runs all the way shoot through the chassis that one, so it's quite a long pipe which is a bit annoying, and it was all Paris and old, so we just replaced the whole thing. I'll take that. Just dump this here. Kev's gonna put that pipe back on. So it goes through there, and then where that string goes, it goes into the chassis there, and then all along that other side of the chassis, it runs right the, down to the end, the other end of the chassis now. It comes out there, and it connects into a junction box up there. And then it puts oil to the ram on this side and that side to open and shut the door. Kev's just here just now, he's actually just uh, taking food waste down to the dump down there so he's going to go and put that pipe on after. So there's a load of oats just heading out in negative two minutes. That's the lorry here now, that blue one there, um, so we'll get it loaded up with oats. There we go, full load. You can see it's quite topped off with oats. Right, get last night's calf tagged. What number is it going to be? 39 or 38? 39. 39. This is going to be Andy. We Andy the bull calf because he won the music round. There we go. It's like Toy Story. Anyway, right, castrate, tag, and grab the BBD tissue sample. Calves tagged. I'm just getting a wee uh, castration band, getting a bit twitchy, the cow. He knows the camera down, but anyway, I've got it castrated. There he is, we Andy. Well done, Andy, for winning that music round. Anyway, nice size calf, actually fairly big, but not too big that calf was causing issues when the cow was calving it. So ideal. There he goes. Yeah, he's got a decent sized belly full in there. So he's been, he's been drinking, no bother. I don't think she's too far away. She's not far away, and she's not far away. Just getting Joe Seal's times onto the leaderboard and to be honest they've absolutely smoked the times. They've come first and second. I'm a wee bit dubious about their um, setup but they did the challenge. Good lads, we'll get it on the table. But Joe managed to do it in 16.03, slaps him right into first place but Ash's pal beat him by 0 0.01 of a second. They've come in with some pretty handy times, 16.02, 16.03. If you go and watch their video you can see why it's a wee bit dubious. Challenge is now going out to Jerry, 6420. If you don't watch him, go and watch him. Crawfish Tractor Challenge, where are you going to come, Jerry? Good luck. Looks like another lorry coming down for oats there. Right, we've got one lorry just arrived. Uh, there's a lorry with chemicals just arrived. I need to unload that first. 
and then there's an hour lorry I can just see coming down the hill for oats as well so there's going to be two waiting I can see him you can see him in the distance there right there so we've got a pallet here of manganese um, maple DF it's called and then a pallet of what's going to be on there Clormacot and Modis which are growth regulators the supply of growth regulators is looking short we've just made sure and bought it so we'll get all this in the chemical store there's a few things waiting for me now Three down, three to go. That lorry took a wee bit more than the rest, so you can see it's a bit piled up, but with a wee touch on the brakes, levels it off in the water. Kev's here with fert, so he's gonna need that unloaded. Kev's getting that unloaded, so he brought fert along, some gates along, and the food waste, which he went and emptied. And then this is the pad that's getting poured for the new gas tank. It's been poured, just covered it for, to protect it from the weather, but see it poured under there, so. We'll be in towards the end of the month to move the gas tank to there, which is, over there at the moment there needs to be a track dug for a new pipe which is ordered and getting delivered soon there you go that's the old one the building we're doing at the moment is in that shed and it's going to come out here a wee bit as well so that's why the gas tank needs to leave if you're interested at all in the live videos i've been doing and um, then next to the subscribe button there's a wee bell you click that and put notifications on so you'll get a notification when I go live. So if you want to actually watch it live, click the wee bell. Also clicking the wee bell uh, gives you a notification of when my video's out. So if you go and click the bell next to the subscribe button, that'll help you out and me a wee bit as well. Cheers. I'm managing now to get feeders filled up. There's lorries coming in left, right and centre. So I should not belt that cow in the face when I open the grab. Fine. So I'm a bit of a pickle, which I knew I'd come to. We've only got one water trough and the segregation is on the water trough, but as the amount of cows that have calved grows, that pen needs to get bigger. So I need to figure out uh, an IBC and a drinker over that side. I think I hear a lorry, which is perfect. I've just finished bedding these cows. Oats are getting there and there's three more loads to go. That's four away so far. You've not been seeing them on video, but there'll be a time lapse of all of these disappear at the end, just because I think you've seen plenty lorries being loaded recently, so I didn't bother. But anyway, we're getting there. Bit of an empty bay now. Another lorry, done. There's a lamb. Lamb's meant to be born in two weeks time, but I can see two on their feet. Flipping heck. What a lovely wee set of twins. Perfect. Looking away. Obviously just been born, they're still wet on their feet. Oh, crackers. Usually, um, retired shepherd along in the village looks after them for us and just, there's only two ewes in land, but he looks after them and tells us what to do. But anyway, I'll go and spray their navel. I did. Can't go too wrong with that. Hello, beastie. I'm not a sheep fan, but they're quite cute to be fair. <laughs> Come on in, spray your navel, you man. <laughs> oh, I need a new ball. This is goose. Come on, we fella. That can go in. There, Just don't move, don't move. There you go, there you go. One done. Come on, wee man. Come on, number two. Mashing. Put you next to your mother. Here we go. Two wee ewe lambs, mother's looking after them just fine. I'm gonna leave them be. Hopefully they'll get a drink. No, 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 don't follow me. Those chemicals that arrived earlier, so a lot of the chemicals we buy are actually just like knockoffs of the main brand to originally make them. So they've always got funny different names, but the actual chemical structure of them is the same as the real one. It's just, they're slightly cheaper. As long as they're a decent product and they've got good wetters in them. Um, the wettability is the, the how the bead or how the spray spreads on a leaf when it lands or spreads on the ground, the wettability. Um, so as long as they've got good wetters in them, they're usually fine. So the joiners have been in. They're starting to put up the timber frame round about here. Much the same as in that building, different joiners. So, um, but OSB um, sheets on a timber frame folded up with moisture proofing on the outside. Uh, round about here to make this. This will be a store that I'm in here. And here, that'll be extensions of these two stores. There's not going to be any more lorries tonight. Um, I just thought there would be one sneak in, but he's not going to make it. He's not got enough time on his sheet. 
come back again. So he's gonna be here first thing, he's gonna be here half six or so, so I'll just leave the front lift in that shed. Got a pen set up, um, these are actually pig gates, but we're gonna use them for the sheep, they'll do the job. That's everything for this video. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. The red button and click the wee bell next to it gives you notifications when the videos come out. So click the wee bell and click notifications on. Cheers. With this feeling I can leave I'm working and